Hi everybody! Today's video will be about cantilevered beams, how to calculate reactions, how to draw a shear and moment diagram. Again, don't forget to click the link below and download your free guide on shear and moment diagram along with a few uh, practice problems I have collected from various FE material. We have a cantilevered beam with a point load of 3 kN and a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter. Uh, first, we will calculate four reactions. Right away, we can see our horizontal reaction HD is going to be equal to zero because we don't have any horizontal forces. The equation will look something like this. Sum of forces in x direction equals zero. This results in HD equal zero. Next, we will calculate the vertical reaction VD. Sum of forces in y direction equals zero. That means VD minus our point load, three kilonewtons, minus our uniformly distributed load, which is two kilonewtons per meter times two meters equals zero. From here, it results that Vd equals 3 kilonewtons plus 4 kilonewtons equals 7 kilonewtons. So our Vd equals 7 kilonewtons. Next, we will calculate the moment, sum of moments in point D equals zero. This result in MD minus our point load is three kilonewtons and the arm is two meters minus. Now our uniform distributed load, we have two kilonewtons per meters times two meters. That's the uh, resultant. And then now the arm is 5 meters equals 0. From here, our moment MD equals to 6 kilonewtons plus 20. Oh, wait a minute. 6 kilonewtons meters, because this is the moment, I forgot the meters, plus 20 kilonewton meters equals to 26 kilonewton meters. I will write down here our moment MD equals to 26 kilonewton meters. Perfect. So next we will uh, draw the shear and moment diagram. So starting the uh, diagram always at zero and we go up with seven kilonewtons. There you go. Now looking at this first section, we don't have any load, so our diagram will look constant. Go ahead and draw our constant diagram. And it's positive. Wait a minute. And this is seven. Now from seven in this point, I'm looking at the beam. I have three kilonewtons that are going downwards. That means I will end here at somewhere 4 kilonewtons. And this section uh, over here, we don't have any other lows. That means my diagram will look constant. So I will draw my constant diagram. Again, positive. We're still on the positive side. Now, next section on the beam, I have a uniformly distributed load. That means my diagram will look linear. 
to four here. And starting at four, uh, my load is two times two, which means it's four kilonewtons, which means I have to go downwards four, which lands me at zero. This is exactly what I need. In order to draw our moment diagram, we have to calculate these uh, areas. So here we have seven times two, we have 14. In this case, four times two, eight. And here, four times two divided by two, four. There you go. One thing, important thing to remember when you have a cantilevered beam, the simplest way to know where you draw your diagram is if your moment is uh, clockwise, you're gonna start on the positive side. If your moment is counterclockwise, you start at the negative side. I will add my signs here. So now my moment is counterclockwise, which means I, I will draw my diagram on the negative side. And I have a 26 kilonewtons moment on the negative side. From here, and just draw the 26. Now from here, I'm looking at the shear diagram. I have to go towards the positive side of the moment because my shear diagram is positive and I have to go um, with the value of 13, which means I will land here still on the, on the negative side. 26 minus 14, it's 12. So I have a value of 12 here. my diagram will look linear and I'm still on the negative side here and in here I have 12. Now from 12 look at I look again on the shear diagram I have to go towards the positive side of my moment because shear diagram is positive with a value of eight. So I go downwards with a value of eight. This will end me here at four. And I will write here four in my Diagram will again look linear. It's still negative. All right. Here from four, I look again at my shear diagram. I still have to go towards the positive side of the moment with a value of four. And my diagram will look this way, this time um, parabolic because my shear diagram is linear. So again, if you go back to the my previous video, I was trying to explain when your diagram, when your para, parabolic diagram looks this way, and when do you draw it this way? So I was explaining last time that when you have a triangle like this, going from a bigger value to a smaller value, you have to think of a ski slope and if you think of a ski slope if you have to start from here you think uh, from going fast to slow which means in my case i have a four value here you start your diagram here and this way you go fast and then you go slow right if you had your triangle different way, going from slow to fast, then your diagram will look like this. You go slow and then fast, right? Does that make sense? I hope you guys remember this. This is important. So in here, my diagram will go from slow, fast towards zero over here. 
fast to slow. A little bit hard to represent, but anyway, I still have, I'm on the minus side here, and I will write here, usually every time actually when you are not able to represent your diagram very well because of the space, just write down parabolic so everybody knows. And here is clearly it's linear. You can also write that down. You can't really do now. Linear, linear. Okay. So this is our shear and moment diagram. Also moving forward, I want to show you how you can verify your work by using the free online tool I was uh, talking to you about at the beginning of the video. Let's go ahead and do that. So you have to go to bimguru.com. We go to beam calculator. Our beam length is six. And we work in meters and we work in kilonewtons, which is great. Now let's go to the supports. We have a cantilevered beam. So this is our support on the left side. Perfect. Here it is. And now we go with the loads. We have a point load of three kilonewtons. And we show our Oh, this is the position. So our point load was at two meters from the left and the value was three kilonewtons going downwards. And next, we are going to add our uniformly distributed load. And the starting position is a at four and position is at six. And the magnitude was two kilonewtons going downwards, which is great. So this is how our beam looks like. And now we will just go ahead and hit calculate. And here is our diagram. So this is one way of, of checking your work. If you're not sure you drew your diagram correctly, this is a, a very good way to verify and make sure you understand these type of problems uh, very well. That's it for today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. This helps other people just like you find me. Also, don't forget to click the link below and download your free guide on Shear and Moment Diagram. I will see you next week.